What's up, motherfuckers? It's your homeboy Blaze up in this bitch, me. And before I say anything, I just wanted to say happy fucking New Year's to all y'all motherfuckers. I hope y'all pursue every single one of your goals that you set out to do because it's very good to have goals in life. I know a lot of motherfuckers like to live their life day by day and it's good to be surprised and it's good to learn to adapt to the changes, but you need to have a mindset to be the best you that you can fucking be, you know what I'm talking about, because life is a long, long, treacherous journey and there's a lot of obstacles that are going to come your way and it's very, very good to be prepared for bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You do that, set your goals, and you will see your life change in a very positive way. And I hope that and a lot more for you. Anyways, now that we're done with that Dr. Phil shit, you know what I'm talking about? (laughs) I wanted to let y'all know something. So, um, I was watching my homeboy OG Juggalo a little earlier today, and um, he was retouching up on the plot twist and uh on who really is to blame on this chuck reeves scandal or shall we shall we call it scandal yeah fuck it let's call it a scandal um yeah about his friend being a pedophile and this and that and them knowing you know what i'm talking about and i personally just think uh yeah they deserve it you know what i'm saying all three of them they all use that secret for their personal gains. So that automatically, to me at least, um, gives them equal blame. Okay. And what I told him was, I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what the fuck you say, homie. I told him. They ain't gonna care. Everybody on the same boat now. Nobody cares. And it's fine, dog. It's fine. And this is what I see about this is what I see that the YouTube community is turning into a bunch of fucking yes men. You either yes men to the left or you are yes men to the right. Whatever Chuck says you follow, whatever CPN says you follow, and um nobody makes their own conclusions. Now what I think is Is that these motherfuckers are just afraid to say anything. You know what I'm saying? They're just afraid that if they say something that is contradictive to each or to one or the other. That they no longer fuck with them. Which is stupid. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, at least when I was growing up. My brothers used to always tell me, like, a friend is a person that will congratulate you. When you did something good. But when you fuck up. He will tell you. You fucked up. And that's what this fucking community is lacking right now. Feels like everybody's out for their own fucking personal gains. They don't want to say nothing. About the person that might get them to the, to the place that they want to be. Now, this is not a punchline. This is not even related to that Chuck shit. But there's a lot of similarities. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to say nothing about CPN because they are friends with CPN. Or CPN to like some. You know what I'm saying? And they don't want to say it because they're friends. You know what I'm saying? And I, that mean, that's fucked up to me because that's also personal games. But... But yet they don't um they don't see anything wrong with uh pointing out where the other side of the camp is fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the other side of the camp. But when it comes to their own allies, me and the homie, I would clean up my fucking soldiers before I would clean up the other side soldiers. So if something's fucking up in my camp I would let it be known, and I would, and I would make it a fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? I would make it to where I would, I would go up front and say something about it, call it the fuck out. And that's what's happening now. Nobody wants to say shit. Everybody talking about Juggalo Justice this, Juggalo Justice that, but what? 
So your camp doesn't get juggalo justice. Just the other side. If they're your friends, it doesn't matter because they're your friends. No, motherfucker. That's just not how it is. For our community to be the best community of juggalos that it can be, the bullshit has to be weeded out. And that doesn't mean don't support him anymore. That just means call him out so he knows and other people know that it's not okay to fuck up. Just like I see people being racist, I call them out. Don't give a fuck who it is because it's not cool. And I don't give a fuck what you think. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a fucking conservative at all. I, I, fuck, I don't care if you're gay, I don't care if you're straight, I don't care about nothing, you know what I'm saying? I, um, I might have my opinions on it, but that doesn't mean I judge you over your sexuality, or the color of your skin, or the way you speak, the way you act, it's, it's no fucking, no fucking concern to me. If you're a good friend, if you're a good person... That's it, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I see now. Going back to what I was saying, nobody wants to speak on anything anymore. Because they say, if you speak something that's contradictive to another person, y'all don't, y'all don't longer fuck with each other. See, that's not, that's bullshit. I made videos about CPN. I made videos about Chuck. I made videos about... Crazy McCormick, I made videos about fucking Wicked, NZ. Um, doesn't mean I don't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? I might have said shit. I might have talked shit. But I told you exactly why I did. Now, I never said fuck them on a personal level. Which is a lot different than me saying fuck you because of this, this, that, and the other. Because... It's different, you know what I'm saying? And that's just me calling out. Calling out bullshit. Now, if somebody thinks that I'm saying bullshit, well, I would, I would gladly, I would gladly fucking listen to their argument, you know what I'm saying? And that's how it is. So, for this shit to keep going, and everybody... Everybody thinks the same. Everybody has the same fucking opinion. So nobody's going to have nothing to talk about. So now that everybody can fuck up, I guess we're just going to be the community of fuck ups. Because that's what it's turning out to be. Everybody don't, everybody don't care. Everybody too fucking busy trying to stay buddy buddies with each other. But when somebody fucks up, nobody want to say nothing. That's bullshit. I'm your homeboy Blaze, nigga. Shit, fuck it. I'd rather just fuck up myself, too. <laughs> Peace, man. Damn.